Whenever we're dealing with the six basic trigonometric functions, sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, secant, and cotangent, the input is a reference angle of a right triangle from which we look for the opposite side, adjacent side, and hypotenuse. The output of all these functions is a ratio of the lengths of the sides of a right triangle. Let's say we have right triangle ABC with angle ACB having a measure of theta. The angle has an opposite side and adjacent side. Of course, there's the hypotenuse too. For sine, its ratio is the length of the opposite side to the length of the hypotenuse. For cosine, its ratio is the length of the adjacent side to the length of the hypotenuse. For tangent, its ratio is the length of the opposite side to the length of the adjacent side. For cosecant, its ratio is the reciprocal of sine's ratio, so the length of the hypotenuse to the length of the opposite side. For secant, its ratio is the reciprocal of cosine's ratio, so the length of the hypotenuse to the length of the adjacent side. For cotangent, its ratio is the reciprocal of tangent's ratio, so the length of the adjacent side to the length of the opposite side. Let's say we have the following triangle and we want to find tangent of A. It's important that we use the right reference angle and ratio. Thus, we should look from the perspective of angle A to see that the opposite side has a length of 7, the adjacent side has a length of 4, and the hypotenuse has a length of the square root of 65. If we would have looked from the perspective of another angle, like angle B, the opposite side would have a length of 4, the adjacent side would have a length of 7, and the hypotenuse would have a length of the square root of 65. If we would have used these lengths, we would have gotten the wrong ratio for the tangent of A. Using the correct reference angle and remembering that the tangent of an angle of a right triangle is the length of the opposite side to the length of the adjacent side, we see that the tangent of A is 7 over 4. 